Welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials, travel and inspiration. Today I will show you how to do this amazing morph effect with people or you can even do it with objects. As you see, very easy morph transition with some objects. First, like in the most tutorials, make sure you set your camera onto a tripod and you have all your settings to manual, even the focus, so your focus is always at the same point. Then the first shot you need is the clean plate, so make sure nothing is in your scene you don't want to have in your scene. Then in the next scene, you can position yourself in your scene with the first look, with the first outfit you want to have, and then just pretend like you're flying into the scene and then you start talking. And then when you've got this shot, you can change your outfit or do whatever you want. And then when you change your outfit, make sure you're standing at the exact same point as before. You can see here, I marked it for myself with some tape on the floor and then just continue talking. So right here in DaVinci, I've prepared the clips. First one here is the clean plate. Here I'm walking into the scene, but I just can cut this clip somewhere around here. So I've got here nearly one second the clean plate and after that I'm spawning in. Then I take the next clip and here I'm like pretending I'm falling into it. And as I said in the intro, just cut it right here. When you have the most motion in your image, set always there to cut because your eyes won't recognize it. So that's very smooth. So raw, it just looks like this. And then, welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials. Then I start talking, and then here I'm just saying the first half of the sentence. So, place for tutorials. For tutorials. So, right here, you see it on the waveform down here. When I stop talking, I trim it back. And then the next clip Travel and inspiration. is the rest of, of the intro. So I'm cutting it also right here when I start talking. You can also check it here on the waveform, put it together and then I watch it back. Tutorial, travel, and then for tutorial, travel, and then it's a bit too fast, so I'm adding here just one frame. For tutorial, travel, and then like this looks very fine to me. So we have for here tutorial, travel, and then almost a smooth cut. This is why it's so important that you set yourself markers where you need to stand and even recognize your last position you've, you've had. So I was talking and I thought to myself, just let your hands straight down. And at the beginning of the next shot, I do the exact same thing. So when you do it like that, you you've got almost a perfect match cut and that's what we want to achieve. So when you see it here, it's it's almost perfect. And whenever you do match cuts or some seamless transitions like this, make sure that you pay really good attention to this. So then we go further do it with objects. Here, I'm throwing it out of, of the frame, but I will give you some footage without throwing it out of the frame, of course. Uh, here, once again, I throw it up and here when you have the most motion in your scene, so you see it, it's very blurry here. Here I set the cut and then I've got the next clip where I throw my head up in the air. And here I do the exact same thing. I search the point where I throw it up almost at the exact same place, somewhere around here I think. And then I will just watch that this matches. So you can see here my my arm was not at the exact same position so that's not the optimal situation but it will work for this video now so here i didn't pay enough attention to the movement of my arm but for sure it will work so when we play it back it just looks like this here when you have the most motion in the object i set the cut so it's not clearly visible for the eye that the object Changed. Object. As you see, very easy morph transition with some objects. And the whole magic behind this morph transition is way easier than you think. You can see it right here on the effects tab. You've got here video transitions, and here you've got the smooth cut. So we go here to the first one and just drag and drop the smooth cut here in between. 
and my transitions are around 8 frames. I think for here it should be fine when we have 6 frames from this transition. Make sure it pre-renders so you can play it back smoothly. So this is your first morph transition where you fly in to the frame and you see it's really depending on your I would say action skills so when you're just standing there it doesn't look like much but when you just give a little jump so you have a bit of motion in in the scene uh, the, the whole scene gets way more engaging so but the real spice comes up when you do stuff like this so here when you've got a perfect match cut just put this smooth cut here in between you can leave it at eight frames wait until it's pre-rendered so you see we have the perfect morph transition here. Um, continue talking and standing at the same point and just my clothes are changing. So this looks very engaging and it's easier done than you think. And even with the object at the end, it looks very engaging when we just put the smooth cut here in between. We make it a bit shorter, around six frames. Let it pre-render. And now you see, it just looks like my arm is getting a bit more to the front and the object changes while it's flying up. Like this. So it's just like my, my headphones are evolving to, to my cap. And we can push it even further. I was standing there with four different objects and you need to make sure that you throw the objects two times in a row in the air and make this the same way with every object. I take the clip from here where I throw it up and a second time and here when I throw it the second time right as it leaves my hand I set the cut then I go further with the second object and here the same thing I throw it two times in the air in a row. Very important you need to do it in a row because otherwise it won't work with the edit. So here as soon as it leaves my hand I set the cut trim them together and here once again as soon as it leaves my hand I set the cut next object so here once again as soon as it leaves my hand cut and the second one cut here and then I take the last object so here when it leaves my hand cut and here once again cut that's the ending so we can here take the beginning as soon as I throw it up I cut the clip to there and I will make the loop from here on so I just take this clip now to the end and when I loop this video here you can enable this and then you have the loop from the selected area and when you play it it comes with this object then this object then the next one and the last one and it will loop so and now we can create this morph effect even with this one so we go up here to effects then smooth cut and put it in between every clip Once again, let it pre-render and it should look something like this. And this is how easy you can create this very cool morph transition. You just need to pay attention to film this correctly. So I hope you have learned something in this tutorial. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.